So, Ctrl H in my download folder, there's a new Amos version. And this is one from 15, that's the one in 24. That one has to go. And what is Amos exactly? Amos is another person who has developed its, his own distro on the basis of Arch Linux. The knowledge from Arch Linux, from ALCI, from AA, from Carly, I mean, the ecosystem of Arch Linux. There's lots of knowledge how to come to a beautiful distro, basically, an ISO, an CD, DVD, an image on which to, or from which to install an Arch Linux based system. Simple as that. No, it is a long path. It's a learning path. It's a way of years of studying Linux, how it all fits together and using the tools that we are provided with Arch ISO, for instance, and then thinking about configurations, thinking about choices, notification demons, pull kits, signing, and so on, and so on, and so on, right? It is all the time making choices. And with all these tools, free tools we have from Linux, if you make all these forks, decisions, yes, no, will I do this, will I do that? What do you get? A different operating system, a different feeling. And this Indeed, he told me something about the wallpaper not being there. Voila, a beautiful wallpaper on the latest ISO. You can download it from SourceForge, but I've already made a video that you can also build Amos. You can build it like you can build Arclix 30 ISOs. You can build Arclix D, the Bs, and Arclix XL, the XS. It's all buildable. ArclixB.com. B stands for build. So you decide what comes on your eyes. So if you want Firefox, Vivaldi there, these are all choices. What do you want on there? Do you want Atom on there? Do you want Simple Screen Recorder, Praga or something else? There are so many choices. There's so many free soft, there's so much free software out there on Linux. The, end, the list goes on and on and on, right? So this is the same, probably the same gonna be uh, the same choices that you can select and install immediately. Captain cursors have that one or the candy GTK theme and so on and so on. You just select and Calamaris, that's the graphical installer, will get it for you. Fast, slow, well, that depends, right? Where do you live? How fast is your internet? How fast is your router? How fast is your Wi-Fi or your LAN cable? How old is your computer, CPU, memory, etc.? It all matters, but in the end, after some patience, right, you'll have an Arch Linux based system with different choices, with different packages, and you select more during the installation phase. And you'll have a what is this? Ctrl T. NeoFetch is a pretty good way to know what things are. So we have we're on VirtualBox, that's something that's a given here, Intel i7, VirtualBox, etc. And it says here, XFCE 4.16, XF, XFWM4. We're on Bash, not set the stage, not Fish, Bash, XFC4 Terminal. We have a, a kind of look, Midnight Blue, Amos, the Saturday Arc icons, 1088 Pac-Man uh, packages. Et voila, and then a nice logo down here, to show your, well, ASCII look of your distribution. You can click on these icons, these um, uh, images, and they will go from left to right with the left click, from right to left to with the right mouse click, simple as that. And we wait till everything is unpacked. And at this point in time, it's really is extracting everything you need to have on your system and it's gonna be already busy making your next root here is calamars root so this is your future system this is where you'll have uh, your 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 your, you know, your future system maybe a remark to the developer what is this doing here right so maybe this can go over time so it's this incredible 
work and I believe I saw his GitHub. I believe it's about a six months work that go into learning everything and making a package, another package, another package, maintaining all these packages, Calamars gets updates and so on and so on. Having a repo, how to make a repo online, how to set it online, how does Pacman work? There's so much to learn, but it is super educational. And the end result is you have full control over an operating system that is free. Let's not forget that. So let's wait for the unpacking to finish. This will be our future system. There are some things in here maybe we should have a look at. Uh, that's the Calamaris configuration that somehow got in here because Calamaris is here. Here's the settings, there are the modules, and here is the branding. So the look of the things, these icons all are here, all these slideshows are here. And our beautiful little lady is slide number four. Voila. So it's all learnable. It's all one danger. You may know that I, I teach also students in the uni university or, or college or whatever you want to call it, but above 18 years old and they go for, in for studies. And the big danger is that you are trying to run before you can even crawl or step, right? So there is a learning path and we tend to forget we, we want to, as humans, we want to have shortcuts, right? <laughs> Give me the button that makes the ISO, I'll push the button. Uh, right, not that easy. So learning phases are set out if you're very new to Linux or just just started with Linux, don't start with Linux D. Linux D is phase six. It's just before we say, if you get all that, you are ready for an Arch Linux installation. And that's quite difficult. If you never ever touched Linux and you are given the wiki, the Arch Linux wiki, go and install Arch Linux. Wow. If you can end that in, in a positive installation respect, right? But normally that's just a bridge too far. So if you see this Amos ISO, don't think I'll make that tomorrow. Think I'll make that next year or two years from now. But the possibility is there, the view on growth, the view, the prospect of, I can do this. Others have done that. I can do that too. It only requires some common sense, a lot of patience, and then you can create your own distribution like Amos is already in here in the list. And more have been students at our project and they made their own creation, their own vision of how would I like to have an operating system, dark, white, brown, yellow, Transparent, not transparent, there's so many choices, right? And so many possibilities because this is Linux. That's why we have so many choices. And that's great. So let's uh, have a look at the new installation. I do believe that's a new grub as well. I thought we saw something about uh, sci-fi related uh, monster thing, uh, alien, that's it. Anyway, choices, right? And we got here this old Volkswagen thing, right? Beautiful car. And voila, some desktops to work on. Offline, you can click on these icons, something pops up, sometimes, not always. And it is his vision, Amos vision with all the themes and tweaks. This is called the Conky if you're new to uh, Linux, so it gives you some information about the system, how fast this is going. I have four CPUs, but actually have eight, right? But four for the virtual box, four for the real machine. And Xorg is now working very hard. And next to it is Plank and the Oryx FWM4. They're switching around here. So this is our Plank. Right mouse click, preferences. Let's have a look. He has some 
yes, lots of cyberpunk things. So his idea was let's get some cyberpunk themes in there. And voila, these are all the plank possibilities that you have. Kind of like this one with this wallpaper. I think this is the best um, background possible. Eh, choices, right? It's personal preference. Everything you see here is personal preference. Voila, it's there. It's it's on the on SourceForge. I've just downloaded it, and um, it's a second look at the same Amos OS. But again, it's not the same anymore. It changed already, and that's the fun. It's so versatile, so flexible, and that's why we enjoy Linux. Cheers.